what is going on guys welcome back to another brand new division 2 video in today's video i want to talk about the three new gear sets that were introduced with the title basin update and overall why i won't really be going for any of these builds really going for any of the gear sets in general and overall why i won't be using them as always if you guys do enjoy the video make sure you guys drop a like on it. if we could hit 20 likes on this video that would be awesome and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as we are super close to 5200 subscribers but without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the question is, are the gear sets worth going for? Yes and no-ish, I guess. Uh, pretty much in my opinion, uh, I personally feel like these three gear sets that are in the game as of right now are like super situational in terms of what you're actually getting as an output of running the full set. Uh, quickly, let's just talk about the stats of the three sets for the two, three, four, five, and six piece. So that you guys can get a pretty good idea of what you guys are getting from each of the three gear sets. So starting off first with the True Patriot, the two piece you get 10% damage to armor, three piece protection from elites, four piece total armor, and then the five piece which is called red, white, and blue. When you shoot an enemy, apply a debuff to them. Debuffs are applied in this order. Red, white, blue obviously cycling every four seconds. Red decreases damage dealt by the enemy, while white restores armor to friendlies that shoot this enemy and blue boosts skill cooldown reduction to friendlies that shoot this enemy and then obviously the full six piece is called full flag shooting an enemy that has all three debuffs will deal 25 percent damage to other nearby enemies that have at least one of these debuffs so uh, overall uh, some of these are really really low percentages in terms of how many pieces you have to run uh, the only one that's really worth it, in my opinion, is the two-piece, which is the damage to overall armor, which is only two-piece, and it's a 10% bonus. Um, I don't think anyone would just accidentally, like, purposely run a three-piece true pager to get only 10% protection from leads when there's plenty of other things that you could use to get that. And then four-piece is only total armor, which should be way higher than 10%. I think if it was 15%, a lot more people would run it just from that small percentage. Um, but yeah, overall, like if you were just running like a mixed build, build with two pieces of True Patriot and then like uh, just regular brand sets, I think the two two piece would kind of be worth it because the overall damage to armor for 10% bonus. But overall, uh, I think this is personally though the best uh, uh, gear set out of the three so far. Um, I think it has the best like uh, output damage in terms of what you're getting out of each and every single like piece in terms of a two piece, three piece, four piece, and then the actual set. Uh, talent that you get from running the full set. So the next gear set is called Ongoing Directive. The two piece is 20% weapon handling, three piece is 25% burn damage, and the four piece is also 25% but it's bleed damage. And then the five piece is called Emergency Requisition. Combat resources within 40 meters of you are automatically collected. This occurs every 30 seconds. Uh, I mean, I guess this is kind of cool. Like I said before, this is like super situational. Um, I guess this would be kind of helpful, like, if you're in a really, like, really crazy situation, like, with a boss or something, in a mission or stronghold or, I guess, in the future, a raid, and you don't have, like, any ammo or you don't have any grenades or, for instance, you're, like, one shot and you don't have any heals left and your skills are on cooldown, and I guess, like, that cooldown uh, hits after that 30 seconds and then it gives you a med kit that was, like, in that 40 meter range and then you're able to save yourself i mean i guess that's cool but for having to run five pieces of this gear set to get that don't necessarily sure know if that's really worth it to be honest with you guys and then obviously lastly the full six piece bonus is called the right tool killing an enemy with a weapon grants some it says some doesn't even tell you how much it just says some special ammo to one of your other weapons so it doesn't even tell you which weapon it's just one of your other weapons obviously your secondary weapon but uh it's either incendiary ammo explosive or shock ammo um just going off a specific example that i saw for a video um i saw marco test this out in the dark zone and he got shock ammo and you're able to use it in pvp so i guess if you want to use this and sort of like exploit this six piece talent and shock people or catch people on fire or have them explode um, I guess you could do that, but you have to kill an enemy and then swap to your second weapon to be able to get that talent to activate. And last but not least, the third gear set is called Hardwired. You get an increase of 20% skill health for the two-piece. The three-piece is plus 20% increased shock duration. Four-piece is plus 20% skill power. The five-piece is electrifying your deployed skills. Causing enemies wandering close to be shocked can occur every 10 seconds. And the full six-piece is killing 
with a skill resets and cooldown of your other skill. I'll talk about that in a second on why that doesn't really make sense for me at least personally. Repairing a friendly agent's armor from zero resets the cooldown of your skills can only occur once every 15 seconds when a skill cooldown ends or reaches full charges, gains bonuses, damage, and repairs to all skills for 15 seconds. So overall, I mean, yeah, I guess it would be kind of cool to be able to use those full six piece bonuses, but in my personal opinion, I just don't think all three of them are strong enough to where it would make someone change their mind in terms of using these gear sets uh, over using brand sets and just combining a bunch of different small bonuses and getting a ton more damage and getting a ton more output uh, for what they're using from those brand sets rather than grinding for these six pieces of gear and running the full uh, six piece. I'm not 100% sure if they like intend on the gear set bonuses being like this low and like dumbed down. Um, I'm sure in the future we'll probably see them make some changes probably in the next update. Um, either to the gear sets or maybe to the brand sets, maybe like nerf the brand sets a little bit to make people want to use the gear sets because right now I don't think there's really any people, um, probably the smallest percentage of players are actually using the brand sets um, as of right now in the game. So if you guys want to know my answer on what I think the best one is, um, I would probably say True Patriot is probably the best one out of all of them in my personal opinion um like i said like not that i'm necessarily going for all the sets but um i would rather like kind of just accidentally get a full set from playing for true patriot rather than any of the other ones um maybe it's just because i go for like pretty much all pvp builds uh rather than like going for all pve builds and just being able to shred like npcs and stuff um but these gear sets obviously all seem to be geared towards uh, a little bit of pvp and pv but pv more and more like pv specific scenarios rather than just an overall instance um like i said i think they'll get some love and uh the first when the first raid drops uh they'll be changed a little bit and maybe uh, a higher percentage of players will use them at that moment of time also i just wanted to quickly throw this in there because i didn't even notice this i don't know if this is actually true this is just off of my theory right now um, but i don't think you can actually get talents on your gear pieces for the gear sets for the three of them so far um, unless my luck is just that incredibly bad and i haven't got a single one that has a single talent whether or not it's good or not on any of my pieces i don't 100 percent know that i can't confirm that but i i don't think you can uh, i guess that's probably due to the fact that you're getting bonuses from one, running a two piece three four five six but then again, you get bonuses from running uh like the regular brand sets and they give you bonuses for running those um, I, I don't know maybe I just have bad luck and it's like a double negative for me which is the other reason why I don't want to run them I don't know I just want to throw that out there because I don't actually know if you can get talents on them or not I guess you guys can let me know down in the comment section below but I just want to throw it in there because I don't know if my luck's that bad or not so I just want to say that and to end off on the video I just want to talk a little bit about uh, build diversity with these gear sets there is a bit of build diversity but not anything compared to running brand sets and whatnot because Obviously with brand sets, you don't have to run six pieces of the exact same gear set uh, in terms of these three that we have right now. Uh, I just feel like you're really limited for these three sets. Uh, it typically makes you like sacrifice in the categories and stats uh, that you really wouldn't normally go for just due to the fact that you don't really get any talents or talent bonuses on your gear. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to about do it for the video. I don't want to ramble on any longer. I could probably make this video last like 20 or 30 minutes, but... I just wanted to get this off my chest talking about these gear sets. I'm really hoping like in the state of the game tomorrow that they uh, maybe they talk about, you know, the gear sets and say they're going to make some changes or something or make some buffs to them or something. I don't know. They need to do something then because I really have like no emphasis, no motivation to go for these sets. Although I do, I think I have like four or five pieces of the true Patriot. I pretty much have that set done just from accidentally completing uh, like the daily and weekly missions and just from getting, getting them in general. Um, I don't know. I might make a build on that. Who knows if I just accidentally get it, like I said. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like and a subscription. If you guys do, like I said, we're close to 5,200 subscribers. We've been there for quite a minute because I kind of stopped making videos for a minute. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.